Alright guys, we are back with another video on Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, of course, Will O'Reilly. Let me just adjust this real quick. Okay, we're good, we're good. This is the first time I'm wearing makeup in a minute, and my glasses are like, no, don't do it. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, warm welcome from my heart to yours. Come join a bit, you may enjoy it here. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for your likes shares comments everything is beautiful we made it to 4k subscribers Woo! go us we're amazing yes <laughs> but uh yeah in this video i'm going to be talking about three ways that a pisces sun moon arising likes you and i got the tea on this because although your girl is an aquarius I'm actually on the cusp of Pisces. Yes, my birthday is February 17th. I'm very, very close to the the Pisces, the March. <laughs> I think I, I, I believe like February 15th is the cutoff for Pisces March, uh, Pisces and Aquarius. But yeah, so the first sign that a Pisces likes you is they're going to be very romantic, but in a secretive way. So you're not going to really know, and I know that's not helpful, but um, they might be writing a romantic story about you, they may be writing poetry about you, they might be writing a song about you, or playing a musical instrument with that song, because Pisces is very creative, it's ruled by Neptune, and Re Neptune is all about our imagination, daydreaming, creativity, spirituality, things that are unseen, right? So that's why Pisces has such a earthial just aura about them. They're the little mermaids. They're the mermaids, the mermans of the universe. So yeah, you might want to like Maybe you could sneak around, ask your friends, like, have they wrote anything about me? Or check their social media. They might have really wrote a song about you indirectly, and maybe they didn't mention your name or anything, but it's a romantic song. That means they like you because they're, Pisces are very, very romantic. The second sign that a Pisces likes you is they are going to listen to you. Most people I have found in life they listen with the intention to say what they're going to say in response or rather they listen with the intention as of a problem solver to fix and both are fine and okay but when you're in your feminine energy and pisces is a water sign so that is feminine and even if you're not a pisces if you work on your feminine energy you'll realize that you're more receptive than you used to be and you will listen just for the sake of listening and sometimes you don't even have to respond and sometimes you can tell somebody you know I don't quite understand what you're going through or what you mean by that but I'm here to listen and learn and that provides a safety with that person you're talking to so when a Pisces really likes you more than a friend they will listen to you now, don't take advantage of that. Don't make them your therapist. You need to go to therapy one-on-one. -on -one. But if you're going through it, Pisces is very, very empathetic. A lot of Pisces are empaths. They can pick up on energy. That's why Pisces really likes and values their time alone. Because, one, they can daydream all they want. Two, they can play their favorite song on repeat. And three, they don't pick up on the energy of everyone around them. Because they can pick up negative, neutral, positive, excited, depressed, disappointed, ecstatic. Just so much energy is going bam, 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 bam to Pisces. Because it's a spiritual sign. It's the things unseen. It's um, noticing people's uh, moods or auras. And, you know, me on the cusp of Pisces, you know, Aquarius already wants to do their own thing and be in solitude. But also with Pisces, I feel so deeply and a lot of people get that confused about me as an Aquarius. They're like, oh, you're so... Da -da. But I don't want to talk more about myself. Anyway, so the third sign that a Pisces likes you is they will slowly but surely start to open up to you. They will slowly but surely become vulnerable with you. And this takes some time. You know, as I say with any Zodiac sign, you want to start out as their friend first. 
you know, any human being, regardless of their zodiac placement, start off as their friend first, because you want to know if you actually like the dude or the girl or the they them. Uh, in order to get in a relationship with them you don't want to just go after someone because they're aesthetically pleasing or attractive or they just got that vibe or they're funny and then you start dating and you realize oh I don't even like how they are they're not they're they're uh, we don't have a friendship thing going on we don't we hate each other (laughs) you want that person to be your best friend right uh especially if you are dating with the intention of marriage of course so with Pisces, a sign that they, the third sign that they will like you is slowly but surely they will open up to you. They might talk about some type of trauma they went through or it could be something lighter, maybe an insecurity they're having or just something they're going through. Because although Pisces is a great listener, a lot of people don't really ask them how they're doing. So if you really like a Pisces, you know, check in with them. Ask them, hey, how are you doing today? Are you feeling okay? How is your mood? Uh, are you going through anything? Would you like to talk? And they will really appreciate and value that from you. So those are the three signs that a Pisces likes you. As always, I'm open for birth chart readings and tarot readings. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!